Hello, welcome back to my channel. Now, if you heard of the game Spot 5 or Holly Gully, this is Holly Gully Extreme, which is a little bit different from the original game. Now, Holly Gully Extreme is slightly different from the Holly Gully regular game and the Spot 5 game. One of the biggest difference in the game are the cards. You have your all your cards are randomized with different fruits, and none of the cards repeat any fruits, which I'll explain a little bit later. Another main difference in the game is your animals. You have your elephant, your monkey, and your pig, which I'll explain a little bit later in the gameplay. Now the objective of the game is to spot two similar cards and then hit the ring bell. The person who spots it all collects all the cards from another player. The player with the most cards at the end of the game wins the game. It's slightly different from the play of Uno. So I'll, let's go into it. Now to start the game, you basically dole out your cards evenly to each player in the game. Let's say we have five players in this game. So the first person basically flips out his card, then the per next person flips out his card. If he sees two similar cards like this, by chance, he hits the bell. Whoever hits the bell first collects the, ca the cards in play and puts it at the bottom of the deck of his deck. And then the next person plays his next card and plays the next card until you spot two similar cards. So this person spots the card, he collects all the cards in play. And you continue playing onwards until you have all the final cards. So one of the biggest difference in Holly Glee Extreme are the animals. So basically you have your pig, your monkey, and your elephant. The way to remember how to play these card games, especially with these animals, is that the pig loves to eat all the fruits on, on the table. The monkey loves all the fruits except for the lemon. And the elephant likes all the fruits except for the strawberry. So if you see a strawberry out in play and you have an elephant in play, don't hit the bell. If you flip with the monkey, if you see a, a lemon in play and you, and you pull the monkey out, don't hit the bell. So let me give you an example. So just a quick example of how you play the animals. Let's say it's your turn and you pull out the pig. Basically, the pig loves to eat all the fruits on the table, so you hit the bell and you collect all the cards. The monk so let's say the next animal you play was the monkey. Well, basically, what you see on the table, you see three lemons, and basically the monkey does not like lemon. You don't hit the bell. Now, if it was different, like let's say you have a banana, a peach, and Strawberry, banana, and peach. You basically hit the bell and you collect all the all the cards because the monk there's no lemon in play. And let's say your next card animal you play was the elephant. Well, you don't hit the bell because there's a strawberry out in play. Until you get rid of the strawberry. In this case, the first person who spots the strawberry missing is the bell. That person collects all the cards. Now to win the game, you basically have to be the last person standing in the game with all the cards. Officially, to get eliminated, you have to accidentally hit the bell mistakenly twice and you get eliminated. But no one really ever plays that way because you, the game would be quickly over because people always accidentally hit the bell. Now the, the real way that we most of us play is we basically collect all the cards from all the other player until we're completely done. So basically the last person with all the cards in the deck wins the game. And that's how fun and easy the game is. Now the extreme version of Holly Glee adds a certain level of complexity to the game. Nonetheless, it still has a lot of the feel and characteristic of the original Holly Glee or Spot 5. 
Now, I highly recommend that you pick this game up. The only place I could find it was through a dirty party vendor on Amazon, which takes a couple of days to ship from Germany. That's right, that is from Germany. So I do highly recommend that you pick up this legitimate copy. So if you found the content of this video informative and useful, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. If you have any thoughts, comments, suggestions, leave in the section below. Love to hear back from you guys. Until next time, peace out and happy gaming.